I know this looks like a yet another Wi-Fi range extender, but it's not. This little guy is called a dot. And this little guy is part of a mesh network. This is supposedly going to get me a much better, faster connectivity, faster Wi-Fi, better Wi-Fi experience. And we're going to put that to the test. If you want to know if this should be your next upgrade on your Wi-Fi, don't worry. I got you. Let me show you what you need to know. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps. It's the techie, techie guy. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Leron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So the mesh network is definitely the next evolution in our Wi-Fi connectivity. We all want a better experience. We all want better data management. And that's what these nodes or dots do. You place them around the house together with the mesh hub and they start to communicate with each other, giving you the optimal route to get out onto the internet. They bypass any traffic congestion so that you're always getting the best possible experience. But are we going to feel the difference? Well, today I'm going to be testing the Mesh Force whole home system that was very kindly sent to me. I want to test the difference between having my traditional Wi-Fi, running a speed test on that, adding only one of these dots into the network, running a test on that, and then adding the second dot onto the system to and run a speed test again. Are we going to practically see the difference between the three scenarios? Well, let's find out. So this is the Mesh Force Hub. This powers up the entire Mesh system. Essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to simply, one, power it up. Number two, you're going to connect it to your router via the supplied LAN cable. Don't worry about losing a port because it's got one here as well and a reset button. Underneath, it's got all the Wi-Fi information, the SSID and the password. Yes, I'm exposing it because it's going to change anyway. Okay. Now let's look at the mesh dot. These dots are essentially spread throughout the house. Very simple, just plug it in, no additional wires required. It does have a LAN port in case you wanna connect something directly to it and a reset button. Okay, let's get this baby set up. So what I'm gonna do is I've powered up the Wi-Fi hub, connected it to my LAN. I'm gonna see here a new Wi-Fi name, which was at the bottom of that hub. I'm gonna connect it with that name and password. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go fire up the mesh app and I'm going to go through the setup process. So click on setup, click on next. It's going to automatically detect the setting. That's the beauty about a mesh network. It pretty much sets itself up. You just got to go through the prompt. Now here, I'm going to give it a different name, not the same as my normal Wi-Fi, so that when I run a test later showing you the difference in speeds, well, you're going to see the difference when I connect to my regular Wi-Fi versus the mesh Wi-Fi. All right, the rest of the setup is pretty boring and pretty mundane, so let's just fast forward through all of that quickly. Okay, next step is just to simply set up another mesh point around the house, which is connecting one of the dots. And that is gonna show me that, there we go, I've got one green connection. You can see that that is set up and that's tying to each other. So already my network is pretty much set up and ready to go. I can even tap on this and it will tell me what the signal strength is for that particular point. And then I can play with it, making sure I get the best signal. Okay, let's go through some of the settings. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but there is something that pops up that I want you to see. So let's just go into wireless settings. And here you'll see this security thing pops up to say it's trying to access my file on my device and there's no reason for this to pop up. I spoke to the company about this. They said that the only reason they have this is in case you wanna set up a profile and you wanna upload your picture. Why does it pop up all over the place? I am not sure. What it should do is only pop up at the point where you want to set up a profile picture. Bad design, I hopefully they'll fix it in the next iteration of the software. When you deny access to it, you see, again, there it is. When you deny access to this, it simply just carries on working. So there's no real reason to have this in the first place. Okay, let's just see if this works. So I'm connected to one dot at the moment. I've got the hub and the dot, and I'm gonna run a speed test. My aim here is to test whether having multiple dots really makes a difference to the speed. So let's run through this. And of course, I'm gonna fast forward the speed test so you can get, get an idea of what the results are gonna be. Okay, 188 as a download speed and the upload speed is capping out at 10.5. Okay, that is with one dot connected. Let's go add another dot and see if that makes a difference. Okay, I've plugged in the second dot. So I've got the hub and two dots plugged around the property. I'm gonna fire up the MyMesh app and uh, this thing has popped up again. I'm gonna say deny. There we go. You can see I've got three of them connected at the moment. There's the speeds is excellent for both of them. Okay, great. 
Now let's go run good old speed test again. With one dot, we got 188 and 10.5. Another dot is in the play now, and you can instantly see, look at that speed, 237 megabits download speed and the upload speed, probably still around the 10 because it's capped at that point. Yep, there we go, 10.1. Just by having an additional point, it makes a difference to the way that it manages the data around your network. And final test, connecting back to my good old traditional Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, and I'm gonna see what that looks like. You can immediately see the speed difference, instantly 113 and 8.76. Let's summarize all of them, but let me just double check if it was connected to the old Wi-Fi. Yes, it is. All right, summary. So when we had one dot, it was 188 down, 10.5 up. Two dots, 237 down, 10.1 up. Traditional Wi-Fi, 113 down, 8.76 up. From these tests, I can see that clearly having two dots on my network along with my hub really does make a difference to your download speed. Your upload speed currently is capped due to my service provider. So I've been running this for a little while now and the results are consistently great using the mesh Wi-Fi, which I highly recommend. Link will be in the description below. If you want more tips and tricks on Wi-Fi and settings and connectivity, check out some of these other cool videos down here. If it's your first time, welcome. Hit the head below to subscribe and join us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in those videos. Let's do it.